Hi there. Here's how I'd like you to get a multi-page PDF file to me to show your work for partial credit on a math test. We'll use a mobile scanner app. There's a lot of programs out there that they're wonderful. They automatically enhance the quality of an image way better than a regular cell phone pick. The most popular one seems to be Cam Scanner. It works on Android and iPhones and it's free but you're welcome to use the program of your choice. Now as you write down your work, I urge you to be as neat and organized as possible. Write your name on every page, number the pages, number the problems, circle your answers, do everything possible to make your work legible and easy to grade. Okay, let's see how it works. Open up the App Store and download Cam Scanner. When you're ready, click the camera button at the bottom, select batch mode for a multi-page file, light up your workspace as bright as possible. Make sure you're in batch mode because we're going to send more than one page. And click the camera button to snap the shutter. See the red one? There's your first page. Let's go over to page two, snap the shutter, and let's do page three. I've got three pages. They don't look that great, not yet, but watch what happens. Hit the check mark, and they're looking better already, aren't they? For a final inspection, click on the first image. Not bad, it's a little crooked. Re-edit will fix that distortion. So click at the top right on re-edit. Right arrow. You can make adjustments with the border if need be. Ooh, yeah, looking better already, isn't it? Look at the original. And you can click on some of the other uh, options for quality enhancement. Lighten, magic color. I pretty much use Magic Color and B&W. I'm not sure what the difference is between B&W and B&W too, but I mostly use Magic Color or B&W. But notice how nice it looks and the distortion is pretty much gone. That's looking good. Let's scroll over to page two and see if that needs editing. Just click on re-edit if you think it does. Let's scroll over and look at page three. That's looking pretty good. I think we're done. Click on the left arrow at the top to return to the home page. By the way, you can double tap, pinch, zoom, and drag for a close-up look at your notes before you send them to me. This is really cool, isn't it? And let's change the name of the file to help you and your professor both, shall we? Drag to the left, and I'll choose Rename. And what I want is your name there, first and last, your full name, the class, and the CRN or ticket number would be really nice. We're done. Drag again to the left. There's a lot of other options. I would like you to email me your notes. So I'll click on Email. Email it as a PDF file for clarity, and then click on send. Type in my email address, ffelden at coastline.edu. Click at the up arrow on the top right to get it to me. And we're done. Now I'll show you what it looks like on my end. Here it is. I received your email. I'll look for your full name and your class in the subject of the email. Now I'll open the attachment for grading. Looks pretty nice, doesn't it? I can scroll through it and I can zoom in if needed for a closer look. Works great, doesn't it? Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching and good luck on your test.